face to face with the man who sold the world. You're gonna step in my line, huh? That's cool. I'm helping. Hey friends! Hello! Welcome back to Beer and Beauty. It's Kasha. And Mikey. And Mikey is joining us for another video today. I thought it would be fun Why during not? quarantine times to have him review some eyeshadow palettes. He's done this just for me a number of times and it's been very amusing for me. Listen. So I thought it would be very amusing for you guys too. Listen makeup world. I'm looking right at you. <laughs> I'm looking at all of you. Huda, Jeffree Star, Manny. I'm looking at you and I'm not that impressed. You, you Basically, say what's going to happen in this video is I'm going to give Mike a couple of eyeshadow palettes. He's going to examine them, uh, talk about them. I, I want you to guess it for and how much it costs. Right, you are or not. Beverly, I'm going to give you the motherfucking tea. <laughs> and it is going to be bitter. Yeah. But first, today's libation of the day. I haven't tried this yet, actually. It's a $3 bottle of wine from Food for Less. My favorite. Di Aquino. Da Kino? Da Kino? Can you read it, YouTube? Gatano Da Kino. It's a Merlot. Oh, is it, are you going to focus? Uh, yeah, there we go. That's better. That's a little bit more. So, it's Merlot Italia in my little, uh, in Kasha's little cat wine glass. I love the cat, kitty cat wine glass. Oh my gosh, that's a generous pour. Well. Cheers. A three dollar bottle of wine. I'm gonna come right out and say, it's not very complex. Oh, I mean. It's not a lot going on, but it's not bad. It's, it's a, just wine. It's a three dollar Merlot from a grocery store. Three dollars well spent, okay. In the, Cheers to that. In the, in Without further ado, I picked out six eyeshadow palettes that actually either you and or I are wearing today. Let's start with this one. Let's see. Okay, first impressions. First of all, Kasha, what are we looking at here? Tell me the name. Tell, tell our viewers what this is technically. Um, this is the Visart Dark Neutrals eyeshadow palette. Or no, Dark Mattes. Dark Mattes. Dark Mattes. Right off the bat, I like the mattes because when I open up a palette and I see a bunch of glitter, I can get into that more later, but I'm not crazy about a bunch of glitter. This, this color balance seems, I don't mind this. I kind of like this. I came in here ready to spit fire and right off the bat, I'm going to say that I don't hate this. There's no colors that seem out of place. It doesn't seem like one of the colors. Well, there's this, there's this orange in here that seems a little, even from this, distance you can see them just shining like a little star and palettes have to do so many things they have to be everything but one like, extra thing it has to be all the stuff that you think you're going to need and one thing that you hope you never need there's got to be one color in there that's a little extra just to keep it i don't know real i think the yeah, the orange does stand out in that palette it, it seems certainly to does the, it seems to be the odd one out and it's skating right up into clown zone but not quite there. What's uh? What season do you think this palette is best for? I like it for fall. Yes. Because it, the tone and everything is very earthy, and it's very. I like how matte it is. I mm -hmm. guess that's the theme of the whole shit. But like, from my limited knowledge of makeup, I just would say that if you were to carry a palette around with you, you'd want it to be something that's like functional, you know, but not clown shit. Like not. Oh no, I'm a, I, I didn't, I forgot I was about to go to a rave with all my uh, dance class or something. Like, there's no need to have such an outrageous palette. This one seems very pedestrian, but in a good way. It's not, it's not basic, but it's, I'm, I'm fine with this. So, so how do you like it? Give it, give it a five star rating. I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'll say four stars. Yeah. I'll say four stars because um, it's matte. But it's not too much. Functional. It's functional. Utilitarian. Yes. Mm. Um, how much do you think that costs? <laughs> to uh, mm, thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. That That's a lot. That is an eighty-dollar palette, my friend. And it's a good palette. It's but a good palette. Eighty dollars. It's a lot of money for something that you only use in the fall. Yeah, I mean, let's face it, that's, just to look at the palette, that's, 
Look at all those pans. That's a lot of makeup. Yeah, those are How really much makeup pants. do you use in a week? You got to make sure if you're going to buy, if you're going to spend $80 on a palette that looks as utilitarian as this, then mama, you better use every fucking pan till it's empty. Okay, before we move on to the next one, you guys know that I swear a little bit. Mike swears kind of a lot. So if you got if you got children, maybe maybe headphones for this one. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll stop. You know, don't hold, don't be not yourself. Well, you know, bleep but, me. Yeah, I'll bleep. Okay, next palette. As you can see, it's got the name right on it. It's called the the Magic Mini by Juvia's Place. The name of the brand is Juvia's Place, and it's called the Magic Mini. The cover art, before I even open it, I just want to say that this is about, this is just a little bit bigger than an old school CD case. The CD jewel case, which I used to, in my youth, really love. The square thing that feels like, oh, you bought something that means something. And like an old jewel CD case, it has this eclectic cover art of two Nubian queens. I'll go ahead and give you a bone on this one. This is a black owned brand. Well, sh okay, go. There we go. Yeah. So we open it up, and, uh, okay. Well, you know. Sh sh everything's got some kind of shimmer or glitter in it. Okay, the names Nubia, Zekaya, Osun, Kesi, Kogi. At some point, let's, it's like. Let's count the mats in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six are mats, the rest are glitters. Yeah. Shimmers are different from glitters, which I'm, I'm learning. And, um, <laughs> you know, at some point, it's like, why bother even naming them? Because no one's going to remember these or so, so shimmery. So. The, 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 okay, the color theme is. Outer space clown? Like, I don't, ooh, it's blue, it's green, it's emerald, it's pink, it's gold for some reason. It's probably, and I, I think the drawings are to help you get it. I think the drawings are to be like. Yeah, I feel like there's like a. If, some sort of sun and like day and night yes, kind of thing going on. There seems to be a sun and moon thing happening. And it's almost like when you look at these characters, it's like if you don't know quite what to do with this makeup, just look at what they're doing, and maybe it'll give you some ideas. It's a bit much for me. I don't know where a lot of these colors fit into people's normal lives, but maybe it's not a normal life palette. Maybe it's for your extraordinary life. Maybe it's for going out in a, in a very extreme way. And a lot of these I can see are very showy, and I, I have to keep reminding myself it's something got, to be It's gotta be showier than yeah, it would be. Exactly, on darker skin you're gonna have to show out just a little bit more. I, being a, you know, basic white bitch, I just see this and I'm like, oh God, for who? But when I stop and think about it, sh sure, some of it is a little overkill, but I think what they're suggesting with the drawings is that you just use like a touch. That it's just a little dab, and you know that'll that'll do it. You don't have to kill yourself. And the, and the pans are pretty small, so I'm not gonna say that it's like an ignorant or poorly planned palette. It's bright, and it's uh, that's a lot of color. There's a lot of there's a lot going on here. If I had to complain about anything, just the size is a little clunky. This big square. I mean, it doesn't fit into your clutch. It doesn't fit in your pocket. What are you doing? I mean, it's... Keep in mind, this is the mini. This is the mini. Holy guacamole, it's huge. I mean, it's like a book. It's like a kid's book. <laughs> I'd give this three stars. Something seems off, but I'm not... Because I'm not sure what it is. I would never tell anyone they're wrong if it works for you. I think that's why I land on three stars, because if this is your jam, what do I know? But for me personally, some of these colors are a little aggro and a lot of shimmer. And shimmer is pretty close to glitter. And a lot of these glitter looks are just, I don't care for them. Three stars, right? Three stars. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go heavy. $50? It's a $25 palette. Huh. Huh. Well, that's... That's actually fair. Considering that they're pretty pigmented colors, yeah, I think it's pretty cheap. Um, um, like a very inexpensive palette for what you get. For as many colors as, as you get, 
as much product as it gets. Despite the three star rating, I would say that for $25, mama, go get it. Yeah. Just get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, next. The Gemini from Melt Cosmetics. See? And this long, narrow look has been pretty popular for the last couple of years, hasn't it? This, like, this, this. That's what, kind of like the classic. This palette. classic pro look. Yeah, palette look. It makes you think of the Urban Decay Naked, which is um, when palette, high end palettes came to be popularized for the mainstream market. Let me just read these. Uh, we got Luna, Gemini, Lorelei, Polka Dot, Cupcake, Bonnie. Leo, Goals with a Z, Fire OG, and Mochi. Why do these sound like weed names? I feel like I'm shopping for weed. Uh, I'll take some of the Cupcake and some of the Fire OG. Side note, that's funny that you say that because their next palette that they released after this one was called Smoke Sessions, and it was a weed-themed palette. So this is obviously on their mind. <laughs> now, the scheme is very brown and kind of mustardy. I feel like I'm looking at a palette of delicious mustards that I'd like to try. And you know, the mustard look can be perfectly acceptable. It's perfectly good. These are big pans. And you're wearing this in your crease. You got some mustard in your crease and I'm wearing it on my lids. I'm wearing some of this yeah. garbage right now. And uh, I don't hate this. Um, Goals and Gemini are very glittery, chunky, just to get you in there a little bit more. This color scheme, this, uh, this mustardy green scheme, I like. I like this for um, being out and active and you want... I don't, I don't think you should go up with the color so much, sometimes you gotta bring it down. Naturalistic, woodsy kind of colors. I, this, this, basically what I like about this is the color scheme. Packaging is nice, dark with roses, like it's kind of artsy. Hmm. And uh, the, the names though are really dumb and they don't really give anything to anything. Again, who names this shit? That hardly matters when the, you're putting on the makeup. It doesn't really well, matter what it's, it's called. It's interesting because so it's a little bit celestial, it's a little bit called the... The Zodiac? Not the Zodiac, but like constellations. Con well, there's Gemini, Luna, uh, I think Laurel Leo. Lorelei is one, I think. I think so. So there's a theme going on, but again, the names. It's kind of vague. It is. Luna means moon, which a moon is a star. The, 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 the colors and the packaging and the names, it all just seems like this kind of vague swing at having a theme that they didn't really land on. The only, the only thing I see is the color scheme itself. Which is, again, as I've said like 10 times, mustardy. And if that's your look, if you're wearing like a maroon sweater today or something, like this could be for you. Mind, I don't hate it, but I think they kind of could have done better with the packaging. Like they could have found a gimmick and a theme that was a little bit more what this is, rather than just being like, oh, pretty words, moon, sparkles, uh, mom's couch. <laughs> They're just randomly throwing like feel-good imagery at you and being like, don't you want it now? No. Actually, I think you should at least swatch one color from it. Which one? Like in any color. Fire OG! Oh, like see, I, I got Fire OG right here. It looks like I picked the wrong one because it looks like I'm just spreading shit on my wrist. <laughs> Basically, all of these pans look like different colors of baby shit, but Let's just say that, you know, except Maybe the ones with sparkles. Maybe for the look you're going for, it works. Who knows? Yeah, it's like coffee brown all the way down to mustard brown and green and kind of right. unhealthy. It looks a little unhealthy. I don't mind it. So, how many stars and how much does it cost? Uh, I'm going to give it another... I like it, but I'm going to give it three stars. So I'm going to say $30. Okay, so I had to look up the um, milk... Cosmetics Gemini palette, it's more expensive than I thought. $58. I don't, a, I, I don't know lot. about that. It's a nice palette, but... It's nice, It's. I don't mind this palette, I don't hate it, but $58 might be too much. And I, I'm the kind of artist who's gonna say that you should go drugstore and get as much mileage out of that with your talent as you possibly can. That when you go to a high-end place and you get the bougie shit, you're asking to be disappointed. 
unless you know exactly what to do with it and you have clients and all that kind of nonsense. Word to the wise. Speaking of clients, moving on. Soft Glam by Anastasia from Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. <laughs> California. Oh, it's so cool out there in West Hollywood. Okay, <laughs> well, it's fuzzy, so that means something. It means it'll get dirty real easy. All, everything that touches this will stain it. So now you know how what a dirty bitch you are by leaving this in your pocketbook for two days. So I open it up, and boy, these are tiny little, tiny little pants. But again, a very uh, nude-ish, natural kind of... We're not trying to shock and awe anybody with these colors. We're trying to keep it in the basic realm of what humans want to look like. A lot of glitter. Again, like the last palette, there's like this, okay, they call it bronze, but what I'm seeing is like straight up Austin Powers gold member fucking Donald Trump, like, <laughs> I want to be gold. <laughs> like, I need gold all over me. <sighs> Don't use gold glitter. What? Are, who are you? What is that? Are you acting in a movie that's set in the 70s? Maybe they're going to a wedding, their gold dress is gold. A wedding? You go to a wedding with gold glimmer? Do you think crazier things have happened? I hope not. Um, and then down in the butt, down in the corner, noir, which is just goth black matte. Just in case you're feeling like that one day. Smart one. Pick a color to swatch in. Cypress Umber. Ooh, okay, these names, by the way. Tempera, glistening, orange soda. Let's go with orange soda, because that kind of seems like the odd duck in this one. Again, the orange is kind of like, hey, I'm here too, guys. I'm a, I'm a color. So the orange, uh, well, let me swatch you a little harder orange soda. First of all, what an appetizing name. It's smooth enough. It looks like you just took tang in powder form and just wiped it. If you took the orange powder from a tang jar, that's what that would look like. At least they're natural-ish human colors, except for gold and orange soda. But if you're trying to look, you know, like an influencer, this will do it. This will make you look like somebody who aspires to a higher fashion level. Soft glam. There's nothing soft about the glamour in here. I mean, it's all pretty aggressive. Okay. Maybe you should have called it full glam. I don't like. I, I talk a lot of shit, but I don't exactly hate it. I, again, I'm a three-star hero. I, I, I swear I'm gonna cut some of these fuckers down, but forty-five dollars. Right on the money. That was a forty-five dollar palette. <laughs> I'm starting to get the hang of this. And this is a good one. This is a palette that I like because this followed a massive failure from Anastasia. They put out a palette that did not do well because it was pressed too soft and it was a huge mess and <laughs> people didn't get it. We talk about self-culture. You guys probably already know. Uh, but I like this one because it has a lot of po popular colors that are very utilitarian from El uh, Anastasia's line. Her black, the noir, is really black. It's a really good black. I didn't mean to um, pick on the uh, the goth black because God knows when we're talking about eyeshadow palettes, goth black has a place. It, it does not do one good to just ignore it. You know, goth black should be available in every two to three palette. Talked about how there's a lot of glitter in here. It's mostly mattes. There's only five shimmer colors in here. The rest of our See, a lot of these are a little dug into, yeah. so I, I get a little confused. And, and it's very useful for bridal. A lot of these shimmers are kind of a low shimmer. They're not very showy. You know, if you're talking to a person, you're close, you can see it. But it's, So, that's good. Yeah. Okay. All right, one more before I take out the pizza. Next one. This is huge. What? It's heavy. What is this? Is this a laptop? It's another one that you're wearing on your eyes. Am I holding... I feel like I'm holding an early 2000s miniature laptop. Natasha Denona. It's white. It looks like it's from the 80s. Oh. God. Ooh, Holy that's, that's the wrong one. That's not the one that you're wearing. I mean, I'm already this far. A interesting little, like, plastic sheet over... Oh, you want me to just switch? Yeah, this is the one that you're actually wearing. Okay. But they're the same. Same thing. Different colors. They give you this little plastic sheet overlay to see the names. Because after all, the names of the colors is a very important thing. So you've got bottle green, 
Glam green, cloudy blue, emerald green, cool bronze, Arizona, terracotta, true gold. Again, gold! A big, shiny pan full of goddamn glittery gold. And a lot of these seem like glittery gold. Look at this color scheme. I'm not with this. I don't appreciate this. Who is this for? What the hell is Golden Aquamarine for? Who's that? Like, let's, let's do Golden Aquamarine because it's the most confusing out of all of them to me. And let's take a look. Oh, oh yeah. If you wanna, if you wanna go out to the club and pretend you're a mermaid, and I, I look like a trout? It's, first of all, it's goddamn gigantic. What am I, where does this go? A hundred dollars? How many stars you give it? Oh yeah, one star. What was this? Ninety nine dollars. It's a two hundred and fifty dollar palette. <laughs> just, just finish it off. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Two hundred dollars, Mama. I this think... thing looks like okay. The the white pleather coating looks like something that. Uh, Julia Roberts would have been carrying around a pretty woman. Hold on, Richard Gere, I'll be right there. There's way too many colors. How, I mean, what, how many choices do you need? I feel like I'm doing Mac Paint in an old computer. These are all ugly. I hate them all. <laughs> uh, there's not a single color in here I like or can see working in any kind of situation. It's the most expensive palette I've looked at yet. Of the I guess when it's a $200 palette, you gotta do everything you can to get as much mileage out of it as you possibly can. This is trash. It's too expensive. And first of all, never buy this. Secondly, if you already own this, just use it to get rid of it. Because it's gonna be haunting you forever. Okay, last one. It's another, one. it's another one that you're wearing on your face. Forgive me, Natasha Denona, but I... No, 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 no. And this is a... A strange spread that I've given you. Well, I'll give you my thoughts after. Okay, what are we looking at? I can't read this. It just looks like a bunch of Egyptian symbols. Is that hieroglyphs? What is this? Big. It feels like a video game. It feels like I'm holding a Game Boy. It says right here, PML, a little picture of a crown and a crying eye. Or it looks like it could be the Eye of Ra or something like that. I know what I want when it comes to eyeshadow palettes and it's cryptic hieroglyphs that I barely understand. That speaks of quality. This is thick enough that if I opened it and there was a screen that I could play Sonic the Hedgehog on, I wouldn't be surprised. If, like, if there was electronics inside this, I would not be surprised. It's like five pounds. It opens up, It's mo the weight is mostly mirror, I'm now seeing. The mirror seems to be the most of what the quality of this even is. And this is what we're looking at. You know, I like that in the collection of palettes that we've been looking at, there's been a lot of browns and nudes and skin tone, what have you, because after all, what is makeup? You're just trying to draw a, a pretty human face on top of your ugly human face. <laughs> so, having human face colors... We all have beautiful human faces. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Having human colors helps when you're trying to draw a human face. I'll, I'll say this, no, no silly names. As I look at the palette and as I show you, you don't see any like, uh, azure, Whiplash, mm -hmm. uh, waterfall of uh, that's probably gonna be, that's gonna get bleached. No, that's you know, uh, th there's no stupid uh, names. Although there is a couple. Okay, there's this one shimmery green up here in the corner that's very like pearlescent, shimmering from purple to green and back and forth. And that's interesting. You want to swatch that one? Um, no. All right. Against my will, I'm swatching this pearlescent green. Which isn't really showing up that well, but it's um. You gotta, like, it makes me look again like a trout. I got my mermaid swatch down here, and I got another rainbow trout. If you want to look like a daring fish leaping from a river, <laughs> the mats I like. You know, when it comes to all these eyeshadows, I prefer a nice mat because it's gonna do technically what it's positing that it's going to do. 
you want some coverage, you want some schmear, you want some makeup, here's a nice dark brown matte for your smoky look or whatever. This, th these brassy, gold, shimmery kind of, like you want to look like a trophy or something. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know why anyone would, would, would want that on their eyes to just be these glittery little disco balls on their face. But it's 2020 and I don't understand that. So I give it... Also, this is small. This is a very heavy feeling palette. Is there more that I'm not getting? Is there a secret compartment that I don't know about? No, that's it. It's just really intense. I actually have to say that one of the things I do like about this palette is how Head, like how industrial it is. I feel like you can drop this down a flight of stairs. It's fine. That could be a weapon. Could, you could, could hurt, hurt someone. Somebody. You could <laughs> really hurt somebody with this. If you bashed an attacker over the head, he'd feel it. I didn't mean to say he. Anybody would feel it. You could be attacked by a woman. Hashtag feminism. Hashtag women can mug too. Okay, and there's a deep like mauve kind of purple. I'm just gonna... I'll jump right in and I will say this is my favorite eyeshadow of all time. That was the one that I said was a little slutty. That's what I like about it. It's it is the most beautiful red I've a, ever seen in my life. It's Look a, at It's a deep red that kind of reminds me of Jessica Rabbit's dress. And I don't bring that up on accident. Jessica Rabbit is a big style icon for me. And that dress was very glittery, but it was a dress, it was an eyeshadow. That's a deep, that's a serious red. And a little bit of shimmer, a dark red, that's, that, that's, that says sex. There's effectiveness in this palette. Uh, I think that it's heavy, that makes it feel like it's worth more. This palette will get the job done. Not a lot of colors, it doesn't, it doesn't beat you over the head with it. And it is small enough to fit in your clutch, if you wanted to take it with you. Four stars. And how much do you think it costs? Sixty dollars. <sighs> This is another one of those painfully expensive palettes. By the way, I'm only learning in this moment how much Kasha spends on eyeshadow palettes. I, I have no time. idea. I've been holding back over the last year. This is a $125 palette. But I bought it on sale. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, if you see it on sale, at least think about it. But let me just say, for $180, $125. $125. That's a that's not very many pans. That's a small number of rather small pans of if you've got talent in your bones. I being the cheapskate that I am would say go drugstore and just swing for the goddamn fences. And I think you'll see a reaction when you see your friends and family or your significant whoever's and they go, "Oh my god, look how much makeup you're wearing." Because a lot of makeup is a lot of makeup. It doesn't matter. They don't know what it came out of. They don't know if it was this or this. Nobody knows except you. It's how you play it. It's how you play it on your face. And I will say that I kind of sort of picked some palettes. Well, I picked them because I, I, I put them on your face today. But I also picked them because I thought that you might like most of these. I did. I ended up liking most of them. I thought I was going to hate all of them. I did put in front of you some of my more, most expensive palettes. That was just to bait me into going crazy. And it uh, almost worked, Kasha, it almost, but uh, I rose above as usual. I don't know, maybe I'd like to see you do another I'll, I'll, I'll review all y'all bitches makeup. <laughs> Send me, uh, just show me anything, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why it isn't trash. But yeah, thanks for reviewing these. And I think that what you said about them is pretty insightful. You know, a, a pretty big general consensus amongst the community is that this palette right here, the Pat McGrath palette, is pretty luxe feeling. It feels good. You want that it feels weight. heavy. You yeah. want that, like, you know, serious quality to it. Um, I, I think the general consensus uh, from people who have reviewed this palette is that this is weird. Okay, the yeah, plastic. the plastic shield is so unnecessary. The plastic is weird. This is too big. It's too much of a scatter shot. I feel like you just put all your makeup on a shotgun and just blasted it. Like, that. That's this is really the one. This yeah. is the one. But also, this is a painfully expensive palette. This is There's a, a lot of my, my more expensive palettes are here. And uh, you've got to spend a little money. I guess I get the cheapest one was the Magic. This was the cheapest one, the CD case. But you guessed $30 for that one. It's a little unwieldy, it's a little chunky. No, you guessed more, I think. Like yeah, I thought, I thought it was more. Um, it's, it's loud, 
But you know what? With these loud colors and with these loud pigments, you're going to get more mileage out of it because one look, you know, the next day you have a totally different look. The colors, this is what I'll say, they, they create more of a spectrum than the others. I appreciate a palette of nudes, but there's something to be said for a spectrum where you can go in different places and get something else out of the same palette multiple times. Well, our pizza's getting cold, so we gotta say goodbye. Thank you so much, for my, Mike, for reviewing this. I think a lot of our viewers share some of the same consensuses with you about some of these palettes. And this was a lot of fun. And if you guys want to see it again, let let me know down in the comments below, based on like my eyeshadow palette collection video, what palettes you think Mike should review next. I think that'll be fun. I'd like to dig into all of them. And uh, thanks for, so much for hanging out with us, guys. Again, we, we enjoyed hanging out with you. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye.